caps for sale. A tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. Why do they have monkey business? Told and illustrated by Esfer Slobotkina. Slobotkina. Did you say it right? Yeah. I think so. Hello friends. Before we begin our exciting read aloud story, please take a second and subscribe to our channel. In case you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you. Now back to the story. Now back to the story. <laughs> there was a peddler who sold cats. But he was not like an ordinary peddler. Carrying his wares on his back, he carried them on his head. First he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of grey caps, then a bunch of brown caps, more caps for sale. then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. How did he do that? I think he placed them on the floor first, stacked them up, and then carefully picked them up and put them on his head. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight, so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! Decent a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street, calling Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he, and he walked out of town slowly slowly so as not to upset his caps he walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree that's a nice place for a rest thought he and he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against a tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the grey caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked at the back of him. No caps. And he looked behind the tree. And no caps. He looked up the tree, and guess what he saw? Monkeys! On every branch, said a monkey. On every monkey, on every monkey, there was a cup. On every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cat. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you! Shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at him and said, You monkeys, you! 
You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, But this time the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You! You must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, <laughs> At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground and began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps, all the the brown cap and all the blue caps and all the red caps keep flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap on his head. <laughs> then the gray caps. These are the gray caps. They're falling down. Then the brown caps. They're right here. <laughs> then the but they miss one. And then the red caps on the very there top. There's one, two, three, four. Four caps. Yep, four of each. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling. Caps for sale. 50 cents a cap. The end. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the story, Grab a copy from your local library or buy one online or in store. For more read aloud videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and share. So we continue bringing you more and more and more videos. Keep reading.